guys, how you all doing tonight? <laughs> Thank you for coming. Hi guys and welcome back to my channel and if you are new then a big huge welcome to you. Today's video is going to be a story time video. I just got back from a very special event and I just want to sit down and record it before I forget otherwise I'm going to hugely regret it. <laughs> so that that's just one thing that I had in mind but future says may have a different point of view but I don't really know but for now I'm just gonna go with like bing remember remember <laughs> tonight and I'm recording this on Wednesday the 14th of November 2018 tonight I went to see a very very special book launch and let me tell you I got really really overexcited I did film an intro but unfortunately it didn't go according to plan so that meant I had to delete the footage and to be honest I acted like a lunatic in that. <laughs> so the event I went to today was at the Chorleywood Bookshop Centre. I think that's what it's called. But if I got it wrong, I'll actually put the real correct name around the video. And the organisation organises so many wonderful book events. And they invite celebrities to come and talk on their latest work. But this book launch was a very special one for me because tonight... I got to see not one, but two of the most greatest inspirational people. But actually, there's one person and one cat. And of course, these two wonderful friends are James Bowen and Bob the cat. When I saw them tonight, Bob and James were releasing their new book. The new book that James and Bob were launching together is called The Little Book of Bob. And basically, this came out not too long ago. And in the book, it's got like details on how James saw Bob and how Bob changed his life, as well as a few lessons and tips for people who are reading the book to take away as well. I really love this book because oddly enough before the launch I was looking at it at my local Waterstone store and when I looked at it I thought this looks very interesting and I was going to actually get it for Christmas or I'm gonna buy a little copy of myself for Christmas but by chance this came and this is really really a special one which I'll probably keep forever because James and Bob actually signed the book but beside the book I actually enjoyed myself I thought the whole thing was really interesting I was engaged the whole time and I noticed that I couldn't stop smiling when I looked at James and Bob I was just like <sighs> and I could feel myself smiling and I didn't really know why but I think just being in the room was just like wow <laughs> I, I don't know if it was the excitement or if it was anything like that, but for the first time in my life, I thought to myself, wow. <laughs> and that was the first thing that happened that was not Disney related at all, because I'm always going to have the wow factor for Disney. <laughs> so what happened in the book launch is that I went with my mum and my godmother to actually see the event. And we got there a little bit early, so about an hour, so we had about some time just to have a little chat and see what was happening and like catch up like we always do and then when the hour came the most amazing thing happened when it started I was focusing on the speaker who was interviewing James and Bob and then out of the corner where the door is was Bob in his multicolored scarf at the time Bob was on James's shoulders like he normally would be if James and him were going out and about and when James actually turned around to go in just for everyone to see him and Bob I actually pictured it like the front cover of a street cat named Bob and it was just it was there and I thought to myself oh my gosh <laughs> it, it was like the book cover 
coming to life, I have to admit, and I really don't know why, but I think it's something that it just came to my mind. And then once they were on stage, the most exciting thing happened as well. Something told me not to put my phone down and just start recording. And when I actually started recording, I thought to myself, why are my instincts actually telling me to record? And this was the reason why. James and Bob actually had a sit down and James read a few chapters from the book and um, he talked about things that he has been through a lot since he's written A Street Cat Named Bob. When it came to the Q&A I felt really really shy and all around me there were loads of people like asking James questions and James was answering them and these included writing books, what Bob's dislike to food and also if James had any advice for people who run organisations to support the homeless and what they should do during the Christmas period. Then for some reason I really wanted to ask a question and throughout the whole time I was just like and then there were other people going around and I thought to myself, Says, what are you doing? You're acting like an idiot, stop! <laughs> and I was just looking around and I thought, okay, got to think of something. And firstly, I thought, what's Bob's favourite toy apart from Raggedy Mouse? Nope, that's not going to work. Or how about what's the one thing that Bob actually dislikes? Someone already asked that question. Ugh. And the <laughs> how frustrating. But for the third thought, and I don't know how it happened, but somehow it just came to me like that. I remember watching a scene in the film, and I did watch the film, and I would highly recommend watching it if you haven't seen it. But um, spoiler alert if you haven't seen it. But at the end of the film, there is a scene where Bob and James are signing the books after their first book launch of a street cat named Bob and in the middle of it all the real life James actually comes and says to James who is played by Luke Treadaway in the film nice one <laughs> I, I can't remember what James actually fully said but I thought that was the most beautiful beautiful moment in any film I've ever seen and to be honest it did make me cry and when I thought about it I thought what if I can ask him a question about that. So out of the blue I shot my hand up and then I was the last person to ask them a question because they were running out of time and when the mic came to me I thought to myself oh god what, what if James doesn't like it? What if Bob thinks I'm an absolute loony? <laughs> there were so many worries and what ifs going through my mind and I thought says you've got this. You put yourself out there and it's now or never. And even though I was quite nervous, I thought I've got to give it my best shot. And when the microphone was handed to me, I said hello to James and Bob and we asked each other, how are you? And in reply, we say, we're fine, thanks. And I said to him, uh, I know this is going to sound like a, a very silly question and I'm pretty nervous about this. I saw the cameo in the film and to round off the question I asked did you actually decide to make a cameo? Was it your decision or was it the filmmaker's decision? After I asked that question James said to me that it was the filmmaker's decision and he said that they did it in three takes and I know that my words are all over the place because I'm still fully nervous about talking about it and I think that was like a big huge shock to me and it's still a big huge shock to me because I never thought I would do something like this and I was just so terrified. Talking about it now I'm still terrified but I'm actually kind of relieved I've done this but I think I, I'm not gonna get any sleep 
sleep tonight. After the launch had been finished, I went into a queue to see James and Bob before I went home with my mum and my godmother. And I have to say though, James is one of the nicest people I have ever ever met and it was a real pleasure meeting him and chatting with him but um, at the time Bob wasn't really in the mood to say hello because he was having his licky stick and once I said my goodbyes I headed home and that was it. <laughs> I'm sorry I really stumbled and mumbled all over the place and yeah I didn't really do a great job of it but uh, I did my best really and I know it's going to be a very long story time so I do apologise for that. So overall I'm really really glad I went to that book launch. It was only going to be my mum and my godmother going but at the last minute my mum asked me do you want to go and straight away I said yes and I'm so so glad I did. I will never forget this moment. So James and Bob if you are watching thank you so so much. It was a real pleasure to meet you both and and I wish you the very best of luck for your tour next year and we cannot wait to see what you two get up to next. So with that I'm going to be drawing this video to a close. I really hope you enjoyed the story time video and I'm sorry it's a little bit long. The video and the pictures will be up on my Instagram account already but if you want to go have a look and you don't have Instagram I will be leaving my Instagram link in the description box below and yeah it it's been a really really good day I don't know what else to say really to be honest because I think I've said what I needed to say and I've been talking for nearly half an hour but it will be shorter by the time I edit this hopefully <laughs> so until then I hope you have a wonderful wonderful day wherever you are in the world and before I go I want to leave you guys with a question who is your favorite author and if you got a chance to meet them what question would you ask them and let me know what it is in the comment section I would love to read about them and until then I hope you have a marvelous day and I hope all of your dreams will come true and just remember to keep on dreaming and never stop believing I'll see you very soon. Bye-bye.